What's up? I'm back. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. I've had a few projects that I had planned, but I never really got to do them. And now it's kind of too late. And also those projects would have taken way too much time. So I'm sorry that it took so long. I was at my dad's house and I couldn't, I didn't really have the time to record. Anyway, this is my reaction, basically my sports analysis of the Cowboys beating the Bengals. Cue the intro. How can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. Hit man in a top try, see a man topless, even a stick is gay. Hugging my brothers and say that I love them, but I don't swing that way. The man them celebrate Eid, the trap's still running on Christmas Day. Somebody tell Doja Cat that I'm trying to indulge in that. Alright, first, I apologize that I haven't really been uploading, but I'll try to upload uh, once a week. Yeah, once a week. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty good. And next, first, let me talk about the game. To be honest, I didn't watch it because, like, but I know really what happened. I saw all the plays. I I play by. I watched the play by play. I watched. I watched Cowboys games as much as I can. This was unexpected. Cooper Rush. He he did well. He is two and zero as a starter. Yeah, I'm glad that we didn't trade for anybody because we have a good backup. But let me let me talk about one person, Stephen A. Smith. You're an idiot. Like you are actually dumb. You literally said before the game, uh. The Cowboys are going to lose. They're going to get blown out. That's your words. And then af after your reaction, you made an Instagram video saying that they were lucky. There's no luck what happened. The Cowboys were the underdogs. But our defense has improved. But you you can't you can't do that, Stephen A. Like you are such a bad NFL analyst, you shouldn't have a job. But I think that's mostly why you have a job because you say such outlandish things. You're the same person who got the NBA Finals prediction wrong eight times. You were wrong. You were zero and eight in NBA Finals prediction. You don't. You don't get to say anything about predicting games. Bro, like just just quit. Like you've made your money. Just just quit. You have no sports knowledge at all, Stephen A. I don't think you've done research ever in your life. You just spit out some random word that doesn't mean what you when you put it in a sentence, you use big words. To try to sound smart when really you're not smart at all. But I like that he gave respect where respect is due and with Micah and Trayvon Diggs. Trayvon Diggs has improved. He's playing a lot better than he did last year. Like, he was good last year, but he let up way too many yards. He locked up Jamar Chase. People will be like, oh, well, didn't he have the same amount of yards the previous game? Mm, no, not really. He was on, he only allowed two catches for 14 yards. Two. And Jabbar Chase is the type of player who can, like, you get him a few, you get him warmed up and he'll take over a game. 
as in like he'll get like a hundred a hundred yard game and like two touchdowns and then you're screwed. Yeah. Also, I get the Bengals' offensive line is dog shit, but Micah still get got the two sacks, and we got six total sacks. We were probably our defense was probably the main reason why we won because we were able to pressure them like that entire game. Because I've watched it, like, yeah, we played pretty well. I was kind of surprised. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Yeah, Cooper Rush, he played good. Uh, who else? Uh, CD had an improvement from the Bucks game. But I also think that reason why he's not taking over as much is because all they do is just double cover him. But he still had like 70 yards. Our defense is elite, though. It's it's great. Like, Micah Parsons is leading the league in sacks right now. I'm not going to make any outlandish prediction that he could win the Defensive Player of the Year. Even though he was second in voting last year. Actually, yeah, he was. It was either second in voting or third in voting. But he... But also, let's talk about Trayvon Diggs. I think he uh, saw all the memes about him letting up the second most last year. Or most yards, or second most. I, I don't know what it was, but he gave up, like, almost, I think, like, either almost a 1,000 yards receiving or a, over a 1,000 yards receiving. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. He improved. He's, he's getting better at man covering because they're not having him play zone every play. Yeah. Also, Trayvon Diggs made Jamar Chase pay for that trash talk that he is. He basically compared him to Antonio Cromarty or whatever the dude's name is. The dude he was comparing him to was uh, a corner who could make some big plays but gave up too much coverage. Basically, that player is not Trayvon Diggs and... He's like, he's basically like, oh, he's an all in or all out. It must have been all in. Yeah, Jamar Chase. Next time you trash talk a corner, back your trash talk up. Because when that dude shuts you down, you look really bad. Basically, Trayvon Diggs made you his bitch. So yeah, I might get a lot of hate for this video. I don't care. Because just by hating on my video, you're getting me more views. Yeah, Dalton Schultz has like a knee injury, which is bad, but we can... Hopefully he's not out, but I don't think that will really affect our team. Like, he's an important part of our team, but, like, all we will have to do is just adjust the game plan. It's just that some games he's pretty involved, some games, he not, some games he's not. But when he's involved, I think we play better because he's a really good tight end. So if you're in fantasy and you see Dalton Schultz questionable, uh, sub him out because... You don't want to get screwed over because you forgot to sub out. People are saying Dak could return this week. 
Uh, even if he's able to, I don't think he should return. Not because I don't want Dak back, but because I think you should wait until at least next week and actually test him on the practice field. And then if he's ready to go, he's ready to go. But if he's not, if his hand's still hurting, if his hand's still broken, then don't play him because he's just going to injure it again. And then... Or he might injure... Well, actually, it's just his hand, but I think you should make sure it fully heals. Plus, we're only facing the Giants and can manders for the next two weeks those should be easy dubs i'm not trying to be cocky i'm just saying those are pretty easy dubs i mean the giants don't really have anybody neither does the commanders prove me wrong if if i am wrong you can you if you're watching this and you go to my school you can literally just rub it in my face i don't care I'll admit, I'll admit, I'll, I'll admit to you that I was wrong, but from when I look at it, people are like, well, they're, they are 2-0, and oh, and I'm like, well, what teams have they faced? One of them faced the Jaguars. I'll make an outlandish claim about the Eagles, too. I say it will be, it will be hard, but... Trayvon Diggs is just going to do to you what he did to you last year. He'll just bait you, thinking that you have the routing, and he'll just jump it and take it to the end zone for a pick six. Don't start trash-talking, Eagles fans, because remember when we blew you out twice last year? It wasn't even a competition. All right. If it looks like... My quality has gone down. It's been a while since I've done this. It's been close to a year. But I'm back! Yeah, that's right. I am back to making videos. So, get my views up. Also, if, if you hit that subscribe button, I would appreciate that as well. Alright, peace. See you next week. In that in my great track suit, see the bulge in that, see the motion clap when you're throwing it back. These females planning on doing me wrong, so I'm grabbing a dumb at the Trojan pack. Post a location after we're gone, can't slip and let them know where we're at. I don't know about you, but I value my life. Cause imagine I die, die. And I ain't made a hundred M's yet. There's so much things I ain't done yet. This PSA is brought to you by the Gabriel Dolak. So grab, grab a bucket of popcorn. Do whatever. This is only going to take up a short amount of your time. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a certain person who have called out in a video before. You thought I was going to say Colin Kerner. No, this is Sam Brady. Sam Brady's been calling me out, saying that he could beat me at basketball despite his shot being whack. Yeah, his release literally looks like a 2K glitch. Like he is trash, he can't, he bricks like all the time. He, he thinks he can beat me. Remember the last time I faced you? I literally shot three threes in your face and you didn't do anything because you were trash same with your defense and the one game i let you win it was out of pity and because i wanted the game to end quickly so that i could change for the next class because we were in weight training yeah this is all happening this is all happening tomorrow, which will be Thursday, September 22nd. Yeah, t September 22nd is tomorrow, so, yeah. You're not going to beat me, Sam. You're trash. All right. Bye.
Sam, I know you're watching this. I know you are. You will not beat me. I will literally shoot all those threes in your face and there will be nothing that you can do and they will all... Because guess what? I'm better than you at basketball. You can talk all the trash you want. It doesn't matter. So at the end of the day, I will win 11 to zero. I used to say 11 to four to give you the benefit of the doubt that you could maybe score four points on me, but no, it's going to be 11 to zero. All right, peace.